What's going on everybody, Paul Tech here, and welcome to the unboxing and hands-on of the Moto G6 Play for Boost Mobile. Now before I unbox this, I just want to talk about price real quick. Now if you purchase this at Boost Mobile on their website, it does go for the price of $129.99. I picked this up at my local Walmart for $80. Bucks. So if you're thinking about picking up the Moto G6 Play, consider picking up at Walmart for the low price of $80. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the packaging here, get into the Moto G6 Play. Now as you can see, as I'm removing the Boost Mobile orange box, you're presented with a second box. So it's Motorola Moto G6 Play box right here. So this looks nice. It looks very, very nice. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and take a look at all the contents that are included with the purchase of the Moto G6 Play. So opening up the front portion there. As you can see, you got the Moto G6 Play nestled right there on top. You got and reading some of these specifications there on the screen protector, you're getting a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, rapid charging, 5.7 inch max vision display, HD+, 13 megapixel camera, 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor, fingerprint reader, as well as expandable memory. I'm gonna place the Moto G6 Play off to the side and share with you what else is included with the purchase. So you are getting your tool there, that's gonna get you access to your tray for your SIM card and SD card. You're also getting some reading material, as you can see there, and this does come with a micro USB data cable. So unfortunately, the Moto G6 Play does not have Type-C charging. And also included in the box is your wall brick for charging, and this does charge at 5.2 two volts at two amps you got Motorola branding to the wall brick as well now something that was very surprising to see in the box is a clear protective case and this is actually pretty awesome because right out of the box you are getting some type of protection for your Moto G6 play so I think this was pretty awesome move to include a case with the purchase and moving on to the Moto G6 play itself now so first thing I'm noticing while holding this in my hand is it does have a good amount of weight to it it does come in with a weight of 6.14 ounces is you are going to get that 18 to 9 aspect ratio you get 5 megapixel front facing camera led flash let's take a look at the right hand side so on the right hand side of the moto g6 play you got your volume rockers and then right below the volume rockers is your textured power button so as you can see that is going to be the placement there and then taking a look at the bottom of the moto g6 play you have your microphone and your micro usb charging port taking a look at the left hand side right there is going to be the tray that does get you access to your SIM card. You can also input a micro SD card to that tray to the left hand side. Taking a look up on top, you have a noise cancellation mic and there is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And moving on to the back of the Moto G6 Play, as you can see, you're getting that 13 megapixel rear facing camera with phase detection autofocus. And with the rear facing camera, it doesn't protrude out a whole lot like you see on some other Motorola devices. It's not completely flush, but it's actually pretty close. Right beneath the camera is going to be your fingerprint sensor. You got the M there for Motorola. Looks like pretty good placement for the fingerprint sensor and this is actually like a bluish type of color on the Motorola website it's actually called deep indigo and this looks very nice to me it has a very nice design I really like the way it looks it is a very shiny uh, type of glossy look to the back there and this back cover will pick up some fingerprints and oils but you are getting that included case with the purchase so you really don't have to worry about that because the case is going to pretty much prevent fingerprints and oils uh, being shown on the back of your Moto G G6 Play. Now on the Motorola website, this does claim that the body is made out of a polymer glass. And uh, like I said, it does have some pretty good weight to it. Comes with a 4,000 milliamp hour non-removable battery. So let's go ahead and power this on. And uh, so as you can see there, we got some juice. Can go ahead and remove this screen protector here. And again, a 5.7 inch HD display. This does have the water repellent coating. So it's not water resistant, but it is going to protect from light uh, rain spills and splashes so you do got that protection there and again you get that led flash to the front for selfies i'm going to get this all set up i'll be right back all right so i got the moto g6 play all set up and ready to go take a look at that display there you are getting an 18 to 9 aspect ratio 720 by 1440 resolution 280 pixels per inch weather widget up on top google search bar as well as your moto application there so you're going to get a lot of those great features that you would see on uh, higher end moto devices here on the moto g6 play moto key moto actions 
Moto Display. So one of the features that you have available is if you do this little chop action, it'll actually launch the flashlight. So it's actually pretty cool. And then you can just do this chop action to turn it off. You got the flick of the wrist available as well to quick launch the camera also. All right, so you see on-screen buttons to the bottom there. Next, I'll go ahead and slide to the uh, side there and that will get you into the Google feed. I haven't connected this to Wi-Fi or anything. And if we jump into the messaging application real quick, I just wanna share with you the keyboard and some of the different emojis that you have here on the Moto G6 Play. So this is gonna be running a G board. And as you can see, the different emojis that you do have available and some other features to the bottom there go ahead and exit out of the messaging application. And next we'll go ahead and go into the app drawer. So all you gotta do is just slide um, from the bottom up and that gets you into the app drawer. And all these applications is what is included out of the box. So again, I haven't connected this to Wi-Fi. I haven't downloaded anything. So you get Dolby Audio on this. You got your FM radio. You plug in a set of headphones and you can just be listening to FM radio. I'll go ahead and scroll further down and you can take a look at some of the other pre-installed applications here on the Moto G6 Play. So I'll go ahead and exit out of the app drawer. Now this is a large display, you know, it's kind of long. So to pull down the status bar, you don't have to reach all the way to the top. All you gotta do is slide down on the display and that will pull down your status bar and you can get access to all your quick toggles just like that. So as you can see, those are some of the different quick toggles that you do have available. And then you can also edit these as well. So there's some additional ones to the bottom there. All you gotta do is just drag and add it up to the top and that's pretty much it. I'll go ahead and jump into settings now and just kind of show you some other features that are available. Now, I didn't connect this to Wi-Fi yet, but let me just adjust the brightness here, make it a little brighter. Also, you got auto brightness on board, which is great. So jumping into network, into Wi-Fi, we'll go ahead and take a look here if we can connect to the five gigahertz. And as you can see there, you do got that option available uh, with the Moto G6 Play. So that's actually pretty good to see there, backing up out of there. I should also mention this does have have Bluetooth 5.0 as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a couple more features you have here underneath settings. Now jumping into display next, you do have the adaptive brightness available. So if you enable the adaptive brightness, the brightness will adjust depending on your environment and lighting conditions. Color mode, so color mode is a very cool feature. Um, you can adjust this, make to the display a little bit warmer, make it a little bit cooler. It just depends on how you like your display to look. And you also have an advanced feature here so you can change the font size the display size and going on from there go ahead and move on into I think storage now I'm going to jump into storage so with the Moto G6 play you are getting 16 gigabytes of ROM 16 gigs of internal storage 5.19 gigabytes has been used out of the box now you still get the feature there that you can input a micro SD card to expand the storage and you can expand it up to 128 gigs. And moving on from there, I'll go ahead and jump into security and location. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the fingerprint sensor. So I did notice while I'm setting up the fingerprint sensor, it is kind of hit or miss uh, while getting my finger to register um, just with the placement, but I did get my fingerprint to register and you can register up to a couple fingerprints as well. So I'll go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor for you guys here and go ahead and see how accurate it and how well it's working as you can see it did unlock the moto g6 play let's do that again and it is working it seems to be working perfectly fine not the fastest fingerprint sensor yet it's not the slowest i've used either and again a good security feature of the moto g6 play moving on from there into about phone as you can see march 1st 2018 security patch and we do got 8.0 Oreo out of the box. So this is actually pretty cool. I think we're gonna start seeing this trend of affordable devices coming out now with this 18 to nine aspect ratio display. Oreo out of the box. And um, so it's looking pretty good there. And with Moto devices, you know you are gonna get those security patches and updates in the future as well. Moving on to the camera interface here. I just wanna kinda of share with you guys a little bit and just kinda of take a couple photos here. Shutter speed seems to be okay, not super fast and into video recording again this has a 13 megapixel rear facing camera face detection autofocus 5 megapixel front facing camera with a front facing flash and as you can see there just a quick look at you know a little bit of the quality what to be expected if you are to be recording uh, videos here with the Moto G6 Play so you can lock in the focus and exposure take a photo while record recording video and you can also pause and resume uh, when you are recording 
So, you know, looks pretty decent so far. I'll definitely have to test this out some more. And you got some additional features up on top. So you got like some manual controls, uh, slow motion. And if you wanna get into settings, just slide out from the side there and then you can get into your settings here. So you got your photo size option there, assistive grid. And let's go ahead and take a look at the video size. So the highest resolution to record in is full HD 1080p 30 frames per second. And that's pretty much it. Again, this was just a quick look at the camera interface in my full review i'll definitely go into more detail in regards to the camera rear facing and the front facing camera well that pretty much wraps up my unboxing and hands-on of the moto g6 play so far i'm really liking what i see here especially for the price that i did pay 80 dollars for this you get a really nice design and build to this 18 to 9 aspect ratio oreo out of the box large 4000 milliamp hour battery as well as a front firing speaker so that earpiece is your front firing speaker so i'll definitely be doing a full review on this i'm going to be using this device for about a week or two and then i will make my full review and let you guys know how the moto g6 play is working out for me if you enjoyed this unboxing hands-on please hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos this is paul tech and i will talk to you on the next one bye